we back. Look, look at me. Three episodes at a time. Last episode was really good. We got some truth. We got some honesty. You know, Scholar and Walter kind of separated at the moment. Jesse, he's just made his way out of rehab and and he's trying to i guess be the 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 bad guy that's who he said he was and um yeah we just we just moving along bro like pretty interested to see how this season is going to play out especially with the way the current circumstances are so we just gonna get into it thank you guys for watching mvps of the league y'all already know if you're watching this y'all are the realest dog y'all be making my day with the with the comments and all of that stuff all the support it really does mean a lot home runs hat tricks 60 80 points you know what i'm saying it all means a lot last but not least if you like what you see hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know what you thought of this episode and subscribe to the channel if you haven't because we be lit over on this side yeah yeah uh like comment subscribe all that good stuff and without further ado we have breaking bad breaking mother fucking beezy all right man episode two i wonder if we gonna find out more about those two individuals in the last episode. I'm pretty sure we will, but will they talk? My man turned down $3 million, bro. He has to be like, I'm such an idiot for turning down that much money, but. The cyber truck. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. The desert, you can't remember your name, cause the rain. It's like, oh no, what did I do? What did they stop him for? I mean, my man was seeming to mind his own business listening to this music. You know, I pulled you over this morning. Pretty sure I wasn't speeding. I've been using the cruise control, so I, I don't. No, sir, your windshield. License and registration, please. Damn windshield. This was. From Wayfair 515, piece of wreckage from the plane. I understand. We still about to get you this ticket, though. <laughs> then what are you doing? Citing you, sir. <laughs> the fuck? Sir, regardless of how that windshield was damaged, this car is unsafe to drive in this condition. All right, now, Walt, look. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. At least have the common decency to hear me I need out. You just calm down. Hellfire rain down on my Sir, house. I need where you my to step back. Sleep. I need you to step back. To pepper spray the man who's expressing his opinion under the First Amendment. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, got his ass. <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> got him pretty good too, didn't he? Breaking bad. Breaking bad. Reagan bag. Truck turns out to be chicken run out of Juarez and Laredo. But this time, as soon as they made it across, someone hit him. You ask me, this is high-end cartel work. Well, say it to us, maybe. Trader. Hey, what's up, Paul? Damn, he called Hank for his one phone call. Oh, my man got a 45-day pin or button. Look at him, bro. Come on, come on, pass the car. Hold on. The pants, they look different. They're not as they're not as 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 ignorant as I want them to be. But look, we're gonna keep it going. Do y'all not see this motherfucker's pants? The shit is fire. Dad, you doing okay? You're selling the place. He looks totally different. New tiles in the bathrooms and kitchens, granite countertops, new appliances, all. Top of the line. Look at him. Who is this guy? You know, I come by sometime for um, dinner or something. Yeah. Sometimes. 2030. <laughs> but you can you can see some 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 change. You know what I'm saying? I'm mostly like the 45 days clean thing, but you just got to keep in mind the last episode. He said he was the, he was the bad guy, so I can't I can't just fall for it completely. Hey, Walt. Uh, remember. Officer Kavanaugh? Yeah, well, how could we forget? Sir, I'm very sorry that I lost my temper. It was disrespectful. All right. Good enough. Get him out of there. She's divorcing me. It is what it is. It's 
everybody looks so different now, you know? It's not a disaster, all right? She's not going to the cops. She's not going to tell a living soul. If she blabs, it'll be a disaster for her. She's bluffing. And she knows it. Okay, so? I've lost my family. Everything that I care about. It's bad. It's a calamity. Shit is cal it's calamitous. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get back on the horse and do what you do best. Talk to our friend and get cooking. I mean, he kind of took the way out. I can't be the bad guy. And Saul is, I mean, of course he wants them to get back to work because he's taking money from these dudes, so. Hot Rocky, ice cream man! Uh, ice cream man. Oh, this is the dude from the last episode. Or from a couple episodes ago. It's me. We may have a wife problem. Look, I need eyes on it. You got an address? Well, we do know one thing for sure about this guy. He will smack the shit out of you. Because <laughs> that's what he did to Jesse when he went to his place. Hey. A PSP? Oh, my God. Let me tell you something. A PSP is one of the absolute best gaming consoles, handhelds of all time, bro. I never had one. My cousin had one. Shout out to my cousin. That just brings back so many memories, dog. When you would pop open the, the thing in the back and put the disc in in the tray. Oh my God, bro. A PSP? That shit just take, it just takes me back. It takes me back. Playing Midnight Club Dub Edition. Those was the days, bro. I just completely missed that whole scene because I was talking about a PSP, but it was worth it. If you if you came up in that era, then you already know. Flynn uh, here is looking for a part-time job, so I don't know if you. My my name's know. Walter Jr. Like like what you can't you can't even say his name. Damn. You don't even care. I don't know what your problem is. Ooh. You may not love him anymore, but I do. Why why you gotta be such a a bitch. Hey, hey, Ooh. hey, 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 hey. No, 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 hey, you can't. Hey, you know. Ooh, Junior. Nah, that's your mama now. Look, I ain't gonna do I ain't gonna go down that way. That's your mom, bro. You don't speak to her like that. I get you upset. We don't do that. You don't do that one. Marie's the bitch. <laughs> I know it's none of my business, but uh, keep it well from the kids. I mean, I really... You're right, Hank. It's none of your business. Skylar, man. After all of that, please tell me that you are still not curious. Just nothing to be curious about. Do y'all not just see, like, the looks that she be giving, bro? She be serving them motherfucking faces. That shit be, that shit is legit. Look, a guy like Walt, a nice guy, decent, smart. Let's face it, yeah. underachiever, dead end life. He gets cancer, time's running out, midlife crisis. He acts up, steps up. Do the math, Marie. When it comes out one way, no. All the uh, felt so guilty, probably told her himself. Yeah, I did. Now hold on, before we start acting like we better than everybody, Hank. What? A, excuse me. What about you and your marriage? Because last time I checked, y'all two wasn't the best. Y'all niggas wasn't honky dory. And whenever you went over to your other job, when you shook up and, and acting like a bitch and 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 huh, huh, in the elevator every time you stepped in it. Look, Walter isn't perfect and that nigga's a liar. But we what we not about to do is start acting like we better than everybody. You know what I'm saying? A underachiever. Your bald headed ass. Nigga, we went bald because we had to. You went bald because you didn't have a choice. And Hank is my man. But stacks of cash. Hey, I'm uh... I know you're out of it and all, but you you wouldn't talk to him, would you? You want a job? Who's got a job for me? I do. What is it? Also, I like this Jesse. I don't know if I've said it, but I like this little version of Jesse. I mean, it's different. I just like it when motherfuckers don't talk. And he's doing that thing where he's just not, like he's 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 just looking and not talking, but whatever. Hey. Damn, I thought that was a gun. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Here go these two again. How many words would they say this episode? Over, under, one. I'm going to hammer the under on that. Maybe I was right. Because if my memory serves me correct, this is Mr. Thing 
Tuco's uncle, Tio. Yep. So I guess I was right about the whole border thing and the smuggling people that that is still Tio's people. Thought I was done hearing that damn bell. Walter White. Mm, mm, mm. Hey. Hey. Thought I'd, uh, well, visit if you don't mind. Yeah. No, of course not. You don't, uh, you don't need the room, do you? No. no. I, just, I just needed some. And guess what? She wants a divorce. She's going to be a single woman again. Oh, it's just okay. Oh, hell no. Oh, yeah. She is a beauty. Fuck this dude. Y'all know I don't like this nigga. Fuck him. Fuck him. Ted. I wish I had you back full time. You do brighten up the place. So I would, I would sock this nigga, bro. I don't want to bring this up, but I, I can't sign off in these quarterlies. I'm sorry. If you're gonna do this, it can't be so glaring. Oh, so now you helping him with his dirty work, huh? That makes you an accomplice. What if your kids found out? Someday they're gonna be old enough. How would you explain it to them? Tell them the truth. Shit, nigga, I had to do what I had to do to keep this business going. But that whatever I did, I did thinking of them, trying to provide and uh, try to take the time to understand. You know what? Truth is, I haven't thought that far ahead, Skyler. I'm, I'm just trying to keep What does that, who does that sound like? Crazy circumstances, crazy situations, but keep your family in mind and you do what you do to provide. Who does that sound like? Hi, Walt. What? Lewis dropped him off. He was here when I got home. I'll, I'll bring him anywhere you want. Right. Okay, good. So we'll meet you at the house. Well, they're just a little... Where are my... Um... I gotta, I gotta bring back my Walter Whites, bro. My meth masters, they in the other room. Next episode, I'm gonna have to bring them back out cause I miss those. This is just how it has to be for now. How can, how can you let her treat you like this? How, how, how can you just, just take now, it? just listen to me. Bro, going through a lot, man. Junior's going through a lot of emotion. Uh, let me first just the old bathroom here. Hit the old bath reezy. Damn, bro. The rest say he's trying to get his woman back. Let me freshen up a little bit. Hello. We're here to discuss the sale of the property at 9809 Margo. This individual wants to buy your house today for cash. In fact, the money is already burning a hmm. hole in my client's account. Isn't that a nice problem to have? To have so much money that you have to start spending that shit? Must be nice. Price. We feel 875 is very fair. We gloss on down to 400. Damn. Damn. What is that, a joke? No, I just thought some allowance was in order once I heard about the meth lab. Ooh, wait, look, just drop that in there, you know? Some would call that fraud in service of concealing a felony. Not bad for a uh, late night lawyer you see on your television, right? Criminal proceeding. I don't think any of us want that. Now, do we? Do you concur? You better concur. Look, run me that 400 grand. Damn, that's a big ass pizza. <laughs> oh, here comes the incoming food take. Let me tell y'all something. Little Caesars, low key, best pizza. They've come up through the ranks over the years and I can't, I, I just can't be more proud of them. Like when they got the, the, the NFL sponsor a couple years ago, I was like, okay, yeah, these, these niggas that made it for real dog. You can say, oh, they're basic. They're simple. $5 hot and ready. But that shit is, it's top tier. It's, it's at least top two. Pizza Hut might be number one, then Little Caesars. But it's like they neck and neck. That Papa John shit that y'all be liking? Mm-mm. Domino's? Mm-mm. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> everything we need to discuss i thought i made myself very clear you got dipping sticks <laughs> don't know the bro put on the cologne drunk the listerine his big ass box of pizza fuck it oh you got a new windshield Pizza on the roof. Pizza on the roof.
this this eyeball, man, it's just not gonna go away. It's just gonna stay. It's just gonna stay in the show the rest of the way, isn't it? When I went out this morning to get the newspaper, I saw a pizza on our roof. <laughs> Accept the situation and keep your distance. You can't manage that. I will get a restraining order. Damn. Get your restraining order right here. Restrain this. <laughs> I said, these nuts, nigga. Now that I think about it, he definitely should have ate that pizza, dog. That could have lasted him for at least a couple of days. <laughs> Breaking even's not so bad. In this economy, a lot of people would kill to break even. Or bad. Oh, God, this is all we need. Hey, Mom. Dad. Look at them pants. Jesse, it's uh, really not a good time. Jesse, the house has been sold. Bought the place. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I just love his acting, bro. I love his acting this season. It's a, it's, 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 it's so good. Now, what is he going to do with her? But this nigga mean business, dog. Magic Carol. Damn, what is he rushing back here for? Are they gonna run into each other? Yo, magic arrow. Change the locks on them. I was about to say he just vanished pretty fast, but he was he was he's just chilling out behind this thing. <laughs> Oh, that has to suck, bro. All them cobwebs like that. <laughs> so what did he come here and do? Did he bug their house or something? These people. I mean, they looking for Walter White. So I mean, yeah. Now is he gonna come in and help, help Walter? one of the worst ways to be killed is to be like in the shower butt ass naked wet no please please are you slipping everywhere i have to be one of the just the most worst ways to die bro humiliating oh yeah so he bugged a house there's something you should know about hold on Somebody's got to step in and save the day, right? They're just going to be sitting here waiting for this dude when he steps out the door. Damn, so they work for Gus too? Okay. He clearly knows something is off. That was episode two of season three of Breaking Bad. And I mean, hey, look, an interesting looks is still starting to pick up. Familiar face. We seen Tio, Mr. Mr. Bellman. Um, I certainly didn't miss that, but he was back. And we also seen Jesse's parents again. Um, Jesse ends up buying the house. He he kinda he kinda blackmailed or or had some leverage on him with the whole meth lab thing and and he ends up buying the house i wonder what he's gonna do with it what he's gonna turn it into i guess we'll see but he has that and, and like i've been saying bro jesse i love jesse man i love jesse this little era of jesse right now like he hasn't completely crashed out and did nothing crazy but this kind of post jane jesse that we getting right now the pants aren't hitting the same but they still baggy and they're great but just his attitude and the way that he's acting out, I really do love it, bro. I really do love Jesse. Like, I'm so glad and thankful that I'm, I'm watching this show. And, and 15 years from now, I can look back on this and be like, bro, I really used to be on this nigga's nuts. And then with Walter, he 
trying to, I guess he won't scholar back. He keeps making his way to the house and that's kind of a, a dangerous thing, but he wants to see his kids. He wants everything back, but it's just, it's just not time for that right now. You got these two guys who still haven't said a, a word. They coming for Walter and I was, they was about to take him down, but they got that call to come to the chicken place. And it has me thinking that Gus, um, I guess he, he's over them too. And I guess whatever he says goes. So they ended up leaving that place and they, they moved the eye and that kind of got everything kind of going different. And my, the bald head guy, he bugged the place so he can hear everything that's going on in the, in the, in the house. And, um, yeah, I wonder, I just wonder what, what, how interesting that's going to get. But look, man, this show is great, bro. Is there anything I'll be forgetting? I'll be feeling like an idiot. I'll be watching this. And then as soon as I review it, I feel like I'll be forgetting and leaving stuff out. The pizza. Uh, that's, that's not worth it but yeah another good episode in the books like i said I, this is my third episode back to back so if i don't address something immediately after then that's why in the comments yeah that's gonna do it thank you guys for watching as always mvps of the motherfucking league 60 points 90 fucking points in a game touchdowns home runs hat tricks out the ass you know mbappe style cr7 style uh, thank you guys for watching for the support as always don't forget to leave a like on the video leave a comment down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't it always means a lot man it really really does i'm thankful for you guys all the time and for breaking bad season three episode two that's all that i got bye